our next contestant, contestant number six, Gwen Bell Kamika. Please acknowledge that your audio and video are unmuted and that you have pinned the timer by saying, good evening, contest master, I have pinned the timer. Good evening, contest master, I've pinned the timer. Thank you. Gwen Bell Kamika, loving without a reason. Loving without a reason, Gwen, Gwen Bell Kamika. Last year, almost 2 million people Googled the question, what is love? In a time of COVID, massive unemployment and grave uncertainties, the number two question on people's minds, what is love? Contest master, distinguished guest, I thought I had the answer to that question growing up. Love is what I receive if I was faultless. And love is what I gave to you if you were flawless. I would soon find out that love that comes with a reason changes with the seasons. I was just six years old when a neighbor tried to have his way with me. I escaped his clutches and ran to my mother. Mama, mama, he tried to. And as soon as the word slipped from my lips, I could feel the shine of mama's love ripped from her eyes. I went to my mother to be embraced in the warmth of her love, but instead I stood in the cold, dim light of her shame. I carried that shame like a bowl of sorrow, too hot to eat, too bitter to swallow. So I fed it to anyone who brought me shame. Are you like the old me? Do you carry your pain as punishment? and inflict it on anyone who brings you shame? Martin Luther King said, hate can never drive out hate. Only love can do that. It's the same with shame. Shame can never drive out shame. Only love can do that. Our perception of who we are can shift when we look in the eyes of another who embodies what we cannot believe for ourselves. Right out of college, I met a skinny guy with long curly hair and dazzling eyes. Mark was a cool dude. He rode a motorcycle and wore black leather jackets. Mark loves himself and he loves people. After a few dates, Mark said, Gwen, I love you. I was so excited. I wanted to know which reason did you choose? Is it because? Mark stopped me in my tracks. Gwen, I love you, but I have no reasons. No reasons? What do you mean no reason? I have a college degree. I'm climbing the corporate ladder. And all of this, my curiosity got the better of me. So you know what I did? I married the guy 32 years later, and I have given Mark so many reasons to leave. I was an absentee wife, always at the office working just one more hour to conquer another rung on the corporate ladder. Only love could have saved my marriage from crashing and burning. Mark saw me for who I am and not what created me. This bald head you see, stage three metastatic breast cancer. When I got the news last August, I was devastated. I wanted to die as I watched friends and family walk away as quickly as the hairs fell from my head. I am here tonight because of Mark's unwavering love. Sleepless nights and he logs on for the next shift. Double mastectomy and Mark doubles down for duty. I am no longer perplexed why people want to know what is this thing called love. Without love, we are nothing. Mark love saved me. Only Mark Love could have healed my broken life. 
without love, we are nothing. To be on love is worse than living in a pandemic. I have come to understand that Mark is able to love me because of the capacity in which he loves himself. It is possible, it is possible for you and I to love ourselves when we build our love capacity from knowing that we are born worthy to be loved for no reason except that we exist. Love is patient, love is gentle, love is kind. And Mark was all three with our four children. They're brilliant students and acclaimed athletes. And let me tell you about my son. He is phenomenal. If you put all the exceptional sons together in one place, you would see one standing a little taller than the others. And he is mine. The strength of our love will be tested by the storms of life. And mine was tested on January 7, 2015. Our son was driving under the influence, crashed his car and was arrested. I was ashamed. Mark drove to the station in silence while I raged. How could he do this to me? When we got to the station, we saw our son's head on low. Mark ran to him and hugged him so tight. There were no need for words in it, Mark said, I love you, I love you. The station was eerily quiet and when I looked around, the officers were crying silent tears. When you're in the presence of love, the one whose love is being transformed and so toward those on the sidelines. I was changed. I realized I was loving my children for reasons. And when my son was down, all I had to offer him was a bowl of sorrow. A few months later, I said, mommy, do you know what daddy did for me that night? Daddy never shamed him because of that. I strive each day to be the best man that I can be. Love corrects the errors of the mind, but it never shames. Can you empty yourself of all your reasons for loving you? Only then can we answer those people who are seeking the question, what is love? They're in your place of worship, and yes, they're in your homes and you can tell them love is gentle, love is patient, it is kind. It illuminates your greatness so that you can be all that you were meant to be. I'm a self-proclaimed love ambassador and tonight I'm here to tell you, I love you and you and I have no reasons. Thank you, contestant number six. You may go ahead and mute your video and your audio. Timer, please set a one minute timer and indicate when that timer has time has passed with the green card. Thank you. <laughs> 